Welcome back to another episode of Worlds Collide. I'm the kid JW. That's my Stephen Talks. What's up, y'all? And, of course, as you see, it's that time of year again. But before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. We definitely appreciate you guys rocking with us. And this one we're watching is from Reading Through History and its Traditional Christmas Foods. So, without further ado, if you want to hit that button, <laughs> let's go. The very mention of Christmas brings many images into the minds of those who say Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. I maybe. was just thinking that. Uh, but yes, that's maybe no. I don't know what Because, that so. Yeah. This is, yeah. Let's see y'all. Celebrate the joy-filled holiday. Let's see what y'all said. I think I said thoughts of family gatherings, oh, shopping sprees, Christmas lights, gift exchanges, stockings packed with sweets, Santa Claus and his reindeer, and snow-covered postcards all bring a smile to one's face if they truly enjoy the holiday season. Yet. One other very important element of the holiday should also come to mind. Food. There are many different dishes associated with Christmas. So what are a few of these dishes? And how long have they been a part of the Christmas tradition? There are many foods that people living in the 21st century look forward to as part of the Christmas feast. But believe it or not, the traditional Christmas meal has changed considerably over the years. With that being said, there are a few of the modern staples that have been around for a very long time. One of the most popular dishes is known as Christmas pudding or plum pudding. Despite the name, it is actually made with several different kinds of mixed fruits. You ever had that shit? I've heard of it. <laughs> I never heard that. Christmas pudding heard that. is customarily served on Christmas Day, and it dates back to medieval England. An odd tradition once associated with the dish was the practice of hiding coins inside the pudding. Go kill somebody! Whoever found a coin got to keep it. The pudding was sometimes even lit aflame before being brought to the table. Another Christmas favorite with origins from the medieval era is known as mince pie, or minced meat pie. Mince pies are a sweet dessert made by mixing fruits, spices, and different types of meat inside oh, a tasty no, that, pastry no, shell. No, just, no. By far, the you're not supposed to add meat to dessert. No, just <laughs> no. If I, just, well, at least the ham. Most popular good. meats served at Christmas time have always been ham, yep. goose, okay. duck, duck okay. and pheasant. In the United States, turkey, a bird that is native to North America, became very popular during the 20th century. One of the most popular Christmas dessert treats is gingerbread. Gingerbread is typically made in the form of small men. In fact, gingerbread men have become one of the most recognizable symbols of the holiday. Gingerbread is also used to create small That is honestly all I was thinking right. while looking at those gingerbread men. You monster! <laughs> houses. The houses are commonly decorated with icing and candy. One beverage associated Ooh, with the holiday eggnog. is eggnog. I eggnog. This. Ew. I love eggnog. Ew. Tears me up. But I but I love this. Mix that with some brandy. Woo. Mwah. Fuck it for now. No, I hear the bathroom. Oh yeah, without a doubt. But that, that's just me. Is a sweet <laughs> beverage good. made with milk, sugar, and eggs. Adults sometimes also mix alcohol in with the drink. Yeah. 
These are just a few of the traditional food items many people eat at Christmas time. As the holiday continues to grow and change, surely more dishes will be added to our Christmas traditions. All right, so I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know that there was a such thing as like Christmas dinner, like because Christmas literally falls right in between Thanksgiving and New Year's. So True. for my family, at least, it was never anything traditional. It was always my mama's famous lasagna. For me, we always growing up, we just used, we just copied and pasted the uh, Thanksgiving meal for Christmas. That's basically as we was growing up, all of this is the same exact thing. All yeah, I but that's what I'm saying. Was, it's so close together. Like, why would you have the exact same food? But my grandma's what she used to do. She used to she just swap out the desserts. So, because I think for Thanksgiving we had. Bless you. <clears throat> Thank um, you. What's the dessert? Something else you swap. But anyway, because we had for dessert potato fondue. Gotta ask my dad on that. How about that? What is that? Gotta ask my dad. It's good though. It is good. Mm, it's good. Um, this ain't no European stuff, is it? No, man. My grandma made that. So, and my grandma is definitely not European. Let's see. Um. Uh, So the point being, <laughs> we she swapped out desserts like or then one like Christmas she'll do like sweet potato pie. Okay. Thanksgiving she'll probably do a potato pie, sweet potato fondue, or she'll do she'll bake a pie like she'll bake a pie or it'll be like yams or something. Okay. Like, real, like not just a regular everyday Sunday dinner yam, but the good yam like with the potatoes is like this big and the slices is like this big and it's super sweet with potato and all that shit. <laughs> so that's what we had. So it's, we just swapped out the two, you know. Okay. For me, it's like if I have turkey for Thanksgiving, I'll have pan for Christmas. Or if I want to swap out the meats, I'll just flip flop them. All right. Um, but fun fact before we get out of here, um, I did host Thanksgiving when I first moved out to my place. I hosted Thanksgiving breakfast. So the food was good, but. Well, me and my cousin did decide, and my dad, we all just, we all sat back now. It's like, I was so, I was, I was crazy. It was fun, but it was crazy because, I mean, we never thought those combinations would go together. Mm. But it was good, though. That's what, you know, we all like to eat. It was like the pre meal before we got to the game, you know. Um, but yeah, you want to take us on out of here? Yep. So, Collider, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like. Um, share with someone who you think will enjoy it as well. And if you are not a collider, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we are definitely coming back with more. Um, anything else you want to add? Um, no. Bye, y'all. Later. <laughs>